Hey folks, and welcome to the East Branch Viaduct. This is an abandoned railroad viaduct that was once owned by the Pittsburgh and Shawmut Railroad and used to transport coal. It was abandoned, I believe, in the early 2000s, and also that's about when the tracks were ripped up, I assume. The viaduct is located south of Knoxdale at what would have been milepost 35, and it's 1,478 feet long. I'm assuming height-wise, maybe about 150, 200 feet maybe. Uh, hard to really tell. But uh, gonna be walking out across here and gonna have to be careful because uh, it is decaying. So as you can see here, the walkway's not really in the best of condition. You can even see further up there, there's planks missing. So gotta be careful where you step. Uh, I mean, what do you expect for a bridge that's basically been abandoned for, what, probably 20 plus years now? There's a good example of all the decay. You can see that tie there is completely rotted. You got a plank completely missing here. And you can see over there, there's a few more missing as well. Gotta say, one thing really not caring for up here right now is it's actually quite windy. Uh, not like we're gonna get blown off here or anything, but uh, not quite that strong. a little shaky though. So I'm thinking this might be the halfway point. I'm telling you right now, out here in the middle of the bridge, this wind is really starting to suck. It is really strong. There's a look at the landscape around the bridge here. I'm trying to hold the camera steady, but like I said, the wind's actually quite strong up here. Yeah, look at this. I don't want to. You got this board missing here, and you can just see that one there, it's actually rocking in the wind a little bit. Getting pretty close to the end down there. Uh, definitely past the halfway point, as you can see. Zach's just over there taking some photo or video or something. There's another bad spot there that's really bad probably the worst I've seen so far you can see the ties are just rotted away there and again you've got more of that uh, walkways missing there on a positive note though not too far from the other end here probably got about eh, a little over 100 feet left to go just showing the landscape here from this end of the bridge Quite a nice view. Well, the end's just down there. And I'm telling you, seems to be a lot nicer now that we're not all the way out there in the open like we were before. Well, here is the end. Oh my Jesus, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think Zach's kind of relieved that we're finally here. Yes, I am very happy that we safely made it to the other side of the bridge and that I didn't die and that you didn't die either. <laughs> it was super Whatever scary. kills me makes me stronger. It was super scary as hell, but it was fun. I just wish the 20 mile per hour wind wasn't there. So this end of the East Branch Viaduct, if you continued going down the line there, you'd eventually come to the Colder Tunnel, which I I actually showed on the channel before. Uh, that'll take you to the eastern end of that. Uh, I've only shown the western end. There's just another look at where the rails used to run on the abandoned roadbed. And I don't know, somebody left a random padlock here for some reason. Just on the other side of that fence there, and like I said, uh, if you go further down this way in that direction, that'll take you to colder. But uh, Zach suggested we walk down there. I don't really want to do that because I know you walk down there so far, there's a house and I guess technically down that way is private property. So I uh, won't be going any further than this. Probably just head back across the bridge again. Walking back across the bridge again, and 
getting back into that damn wind. You can actually see one of the roads that runs under East Branch is down here, runs over that way. And I got some catching up to do to catch up with Zach basically, but I'm not in too big of a hurry with the way these ties are. I wanna keep track of where I'm stepping. Still walking back here. Uh, I don't think we're quite halfway across yet. I know Zach has stopped off here. Wind's probably getting to be too much. Aside from wanting to topple you over, just cuts right through you. Actually be a pretty nice day, I think, if it wasn't for the wind, but man, that makes it cold. All right, I think about at the halfway point again, maybe a little further. Still going and still haven't caught up with Zach yet. I think he's just standing there taking a breather. The wind's calmed down a little bit as well, which I'm glad about. I'm telling you, I don't care for being up here with this strong wind. All right, getting pretty close to the other end here. Not too much further to go. About another 100 feet, I'd say. Tell you what, I'm going to be kind of glad to get off of this thing. Okay, made it back to the end of the bridge, and uh, Zach is just right there. We did it. Oh, my gosh. We did it, though. Woo! So I think that's going to be it. Uh, needless to say, probably could have found a better day, better weather to do this. Uh, did not care for walking out there. It wasn't bad at first, but when the wind picked up, uh, I started to second guess our decision. But uh, I suppose that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, planning on checking out some other viaducts and I think uh, maybe one more tunnel for today. Uh, probably have some videos coming up uh, on those as well. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll catch you guys here shortly.